hi everyone this is Joanna welcome to my channel thank you so much for hanging out with me today I have an, a little bit different project um, prepared for you guys today something that I don't believe that I have done on the video before and that is going to involve some alcohol ink and clay and cling wrap so I already rolled out a little piece of white clay and I'm going to grab some wrap, plastic wrap and what you want to do is you kind of want to mush it create like a, a mess and start placing it on the clay so go ahead you don't want a smooth surface just a, one big mess but you do want it to touch the clay and spots obviously where you have the folds you will not be able to touch the clay but you want definitely for the you want the some parts touching the clay okay so let's do that it's kind of a fun outcome and it's always fun to play with the alcohol inks too okay and the colors of the inks that I'm using are sunshine yellow a sailboat blue and pool so my favorite I really need to move away from certain colors but I can't <laughs> and every time that I use alcohol inks I always always use gloves even when I'm super careful I always manage to get dirty so gloves go on now I do have one of those little things here droplets I guess that's what it is but if you have like a syringe that would work as well and uh, I have little cups here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put a couple of drops of alcohol ink in a cup and before it disappears on me I'm gonna try to grab it with the syringe so some alcohol ink goes in now let me grab the syringe suck it up as much as I can and now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just barely touch it and move it and spread it underneath and just try to squeeze it and you can see that oops all those designs are going to start creating I'm going to go back and fix in just one minute so I'll just add some more ink in here go grab it yeah, that was a little bit better So the idea really is to have some parts that are maybe like lighter white or even white. I've seen some people make it and it, it really looks amazing. It really does when you have that those white parts sticking out. And here you can just go in and adjust all the folds. And like I said, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I'm going to have to put on the side and let it let it dry. I'm also going to try some pinks right now. And I'm going to do it in a fast mode. So if you guys are not interested, you don't have to bother with it. But I thought pinks will be kind of be a little bit different for me. But you see, for example, this one here is um, it's completely flat. 
so you want to go in and create some kind of a texture to it just like that there you go all right I'm gonna leave it <clears throat> and uh, have it dry and I'll come back to that Alright guys, so I have these two and they're gonna go for a nice dry during the day and I'm gonna check in in the afternoon and see what we got. And my friends, it's reveal time. I can't even tell you how satisfying it is to pull off that clear wrap. It just, it's just so neat to see what's underneath it and the beautiful design that is hiding there you can see a couple of the spots are lighter i have seen them before just with completely white pieces in the middle and it looks really really nice and i think that both colors came out pretty darn good uh, the bright pink i probably would stay away from i think that the wild plum and the twilight purple are absolutely perfect colors for it and now the only thing that is left is to shape it cut it and shape it and you can see that i'm having a bit of a hard time cutting it because actually the alcohol ink kind of transformed the clay it feels a little bit different if you know what I mean and I already cleaned my uh, baking uh, tile and I love this tool can I tell you that I just love this tool it's my favorite tool for shaping and I did the same thing with my pink pendant and I'm giving it a nice shape those corners are just bending so nicely with this tool it is absolutely the best tool ever and there you have it I'm going to throw it in the oven and there you have it they are all nicely baked and I decided that I'm going to go in and scrub the edges and I'm going to scrub the edges so much that you will see a bunch of white coming coming out and that way this will create kind of a frame for my pendant so I was trying it with the pink and you know what the ink really really bled through and you did not have that pop in the white so I tried it with my green and blue pendant and that one was coming out much nicer it's like if though the clay did not absorb the uh, the color as much as the red so honestly I think I like this pendant better just for that reason uh, otherwise the pink pendant is fantastic but I really wanted that white edge to show and I was just not getting it with my other pendant you can see right here it is so nice I really absolutely love the way it came out and I love the white outline around it it's really really neat the pink like I said it's great design but I just did not it just looks kind of messy and dirty and I know I went back and I tried some more sanding but it just I just was not accomplishing what I was after so I just left it be in the end and there you have my three pieces one of them I made before making this video and you have my blue and the pink piece as well all 
right so the resin is nice and dry and here we have our pendants this is the one that I just made and this one is the one from before and this one actually you can wear it either way hmm this way or that way hmm, whichever way you prefer but I really like how you're able to we were able to get that nice white border around we were not able to achieve that with the pink the pink just bled through too much and I really didn't like it um, and honestly I think I must have disposed of it because right now I'm on the mission that if I don't like something I'm just gonna toss it if I don't think anybody else is gonna like it um, so I may have already tossed it because I really didn't like how much it actually bled through because there's always bleeding into the clay from alcohol ink but that one was just too much and these it seemed great you know that the bleeding is not too much so you still get this beautiful border I hope you guys enjoyed this one just a little bit different something um, and uh, give it a shot let me know how it went until next time my friends ta -ta.